I've got a question. Is it possible for me to use my old Game Boy Advance to control items in my house? That's a real challenge considering the 20 year old hardware has no wireless communication at all. But it does have a screen of pixels, which gives me a crazy idea. What if I use the light emitted from the screen to trigger a light resistor? I then broadcast that unique timing duration using infrared light. And you and me can't see infrared light, but an IR detector can. And if all of that goes well, then I can make it move and do work. I race to my computer to design the circuit to perform several different tests on many breadboards. And it was a rough start. Nothing worked at first. But after several tries, I was finally able to win over my cat's approval. Next, I need to design the circuit and print it on a PCB. Luckily, I found a way to do this using my CNC machine. And I 3D printed my own design to hold the PCB down so that I can drill the holes, carve the traces, and then finally cut out the board. And it worked much better than I thought. I double checked to make sure the board came out okay. And then I can finally get to soldering the components in place. So the CNC machine just cut out the paths that you can think of as wires in the circuit. Okay, and back to the computer to 3D print some kind of housing for these electronics. And I really needed to think about the 3D modeling, considering that an FDM 3D printer prints from the bottom to the top using additive layering. And I had to measure everything. Lots and lots of measuring. Over and over again. But even then I would spend hours 3D printing only to realize that I measured incorrectly, or it wasn't gonna work, or really it could be redesigned to be better. And I tried my best to design the print in a single piece, but sometimes I needed to print in separate pieces and super glue it together or I needed to make my own supports that I can remove later. And I didn't stop there. I 3D printed a holder so it can hold my rechargeable 3.7 volt button cell batteries too. It's a great way to stay organized. And I'm happy with how well the light resistor fits in this arm. And the receivers now have a housing for the PCB and servo motors. And I almost forgot, but I actually have to write the GBA program and move that GBA ROM file onto a flash cart so it can run on the actual hardware. And it was a challenge. I had to really think about how to convert the rotational movement into a linear movement. I tried a few different options, but I think this design really worked the best. It's at this point I reached the very first real test, trying to transmit different signals to activate each individual receiver. So all of these different elements finally came together and worked better than I could imagine. All of these different pieces had to work and come together. The programming, the 3D printing, the electronics. And I was so worried that the light from the screen wasn't going to be bright enough to trigger the light resistor. But luckily everything came together. And so that's how I was able to find a way to make the old Game Boy Advance wirelessly control motors and do work and perform simple tasks. And what's cool about this method is that it should work on any device that has a screen that puts off light. A unique way for any two devices to communicate without any kind of wires. This project seemed impossible to me when I first started and I'm so happy that it works and that I can share this video with you. I hope you enjoyed it and let's hang out again sometime and thank you so much for watching.